My name is Francesco Romano. I was born in Berri, Italy in the year 1917. I joined the Italian military in 1937 when I was 20 years old, and I would later fight with the Italian volunteers during the Spanish Civil War. During the Spanish Civil War, I was a tankman, and I would operate the Caro Veloce CV-35. Anyways, it is now World War II, and during the Battle of France, I joined the Maletti Group, an elite tank unit. I would also operate the new tank at the time called the Caro Armato M11 Tartar 39. When the invasion of Egypt began, we was tasked to take as much of British-held land as quickly as possible. But we had key major issues. During the early stages of the, of the invasion, we got lost and would have to be found by our air force near the Halfaya Pass. Did you men find anything here, like gold or any artifacts? No. Looks like these ruins are empty. There's nothing here. Understood soldiers, but keep looking around. Sir, do you hear that? That sounds like planes. Yes, I do. Our Air Force must have found us. Our general will give us orders or our next conquest. Let's get back to the tank. This will be the last time we shall get lost in the desert. How are our navigation so off? Our Air Force had the area mapped out back in June of this year. The Halfaya Pass is a tricky landscape. Traversing these lands is not easy. Yes. Also, we still don't have enough supply trucks to sustain the journey. And why is that? The incompetence of our so-called leaders. The idiots. They should have listened to our general. This is a beautiful view of the countryside, don't you think, Capitano? This is a beautiful view of the countryside, don't you think, Capitano? Yes. Yes, it is. But we can't stand around and sightsee. We will have to get moving soon. We must capture as much land as we possibly can. The Air Force did a good job finding us. Now we can get back on track and continue to capture more land. Yes, I also heard our parachute division captured Solom a couple days ago. This means the coastal border is ours. Where do you think we will travel to next Capitano? City Borani is our goal. We must capture the city from the British and drive a wedge through the Egyptian countryside. Now, let us get back in our tanks and continue. We continued through the Halfaya Pass and towards the open desert. But during the way towards Sidi Barani, we were ambushed. We are almost near Sidi Barrani, going by what the map is telling me. Good, at least the British haven't attacked us on our journey. Yes, but we must be vigilant. This area has more trees and shrubs. The British have used hit and run tactics on other units.
You were right, Capitan. It is an ambush. I know. The British have anti-tank weapons. We must get the tank out of here. Hurry and drive Luciano. Drive where? Drive backwards. Via, 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 via. We have to get out of here. Damn. I think our side armor is damaged near the track. The tank might be a little slow. This is the plan. We will flank around the British ambush position, but we must hurry. More than likely, the British will send tanks to overwhelm our position or they will flee. I will also get on the radio to call reinforcements. Now, let's move! <laughs> But it looks like the British are withdrawing. Maybe we can hurry and cut them off. Damn! A British tank is pushing our front line. must cut off the retreating British forces.
the perimeter to make sure there are no more British forces. This was a devastating ambush. The devastation, the destruction, this is terrible on Parte. We lost half of our convoy in this attack. Damn. Where was our air support? And why did it take so long for our reinforcements to arrive? There's not too many of us left. If we are ambushed again, the British will finish us. But our reinforcements will help protect our supplies. We don't have enough supplies to sustain this invasion. Our leaders should have seen this coming. Sidi Barani is probably the farthest we will make it. You might be right, Signore. Yes, but regardless of the circumstances, we must continue and capture as much land as we possibly can before the British counterattack. We gathered what men and supplies that remained and we continued forward. We would later reach Sidi Barani, but just as we all feared, we were forced to stop our advance due to the low amount of supplies we had on the front of our. Once again, we will play the waiting game, but the British would strike later in December. However, while we wait, another front was beginning to open. The weather has gotten worse. We might have to return to headquarters. We don't have time to withdraw to headquarters. The Greek forces are pushing into Albania. We must strike now. We have to push them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 